Occupational asthma, also referred to as work-related asthma, is the most common occupational lung disease in the United States. According to OSHA, an estimated 11 million workers in a wide range of industries and occupations are exposed to at least one of the numerous agents known to be associated with occupational asthma. Occupational factors are associated with up to 15% of disabling asthma cases in the United States. Occupational asthma results from exposure to allergens or irritants on the job. These exposures can lead to new cases of asthma or worsen existing asthma. The condition can cause wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, and coughing. Symptoms may emerge hours after exposure to harmful substances or even months or years later. Occupational asthma reduces productivity and quality of life and increases costs to employees, families, businesses, and even taxpayers. Some employees become too disabled to work, while others must change jobs to avoid the substance or substances that cause their asthma. Unless occupational asthma is caught and managed early, it is likely to continue and get worse. Workers in a wide range of industries and work sites are at risk. According to the National Institutes of Health, more than 250 substances are known or believed to cause or exacerbate work-related asthma. These substances include many chemicals used in manufacturing, paints, cleaning products, dusts from wood, grain and flour, latex gloves, certain molds, animals, and insects. In some cases, cigarette smoking may increase the risk of developing occupational asthma. Occupational asthma can be controlled, and the NIH lists three main approaches to controlling it in the worksite. They include preventing the disease by reducing or eliminating environmental allergens and irritants, detecting the disease early, even before symptoms appear, by using surveillance measures, and avoiding worsening symptoms by preventing exposure or using something less harmful. These are just a few things to know about occupational asthma. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, environmental, health, and safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.